Now this is going to be tricky. This is going to be tricky. Do I cut into the mountains now or do I stay on the outside? I don't know because I'm not sure where I'm going. Hello guys, welcome. I'm Simu K. This is Air Horror 2 and Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. Without the 2020, obviously. Uh, we're at Alpha Yankee X-Ray Indigo and uh, we have got 640 pounds of seafood to transfer back to our base point uh, base port base airport excuse me of Tapini Tapini I've got to get that name in my head somehow um, it's only a 30 nautical mile 30 nautical mile flight but I've got 640 pounds to transfer so I could be toing and throwing a little bit now um, this is a follow-on straight from the last episode so I'm it's very late and the wife is not happy that I'm going to be doing this I'm mostly not going to be talking uh, unless something serious happens or cool or just, you know, I can't help myself. Um, so, yeah, let's just get ourselves up and running. So we're going to fly now. And uh, we're going to take, yes, I think that's the correct. Oh, they're both the same. Interesting. It's so weird. Uh, so we're going to load do I part load or do I all load? How much have we got? Okay, so. Can I take 200 and... Can I take 250? So we can take up to a maximum of 282. Maximum takeoff weight is 1,320 pounds. And our current weight is... Uh, where's our current weight? We've got 70.4% fuel on board. Why have we got Jet A fuel? That can't be right, can it? That doesn't seem right to me, but whatever. We'll just go with it. Um... Max capacity, ramp weight, empty weight, available capacity. What's my total weight now? I don't know. If I could get half of that on board. Okay, thank you, thank you. 640, so can I part load 320? Will that allow me to do that? I might be cheating a little bit here. AXY to AYTI, yes. We're going to go VFR. I'm going to say 10,000 feet, but I, genuinely I don't think we can actually get there. So we took off at 6am, so let's say it is 0734. That seems pretty reasonable. Um, yeah, we took off at 6 a.m., took us an hour, a little bit of turn and fro in. Yeah, I think that's good. Accept route and fly. Far Cry 5. Who's playing Far Cry 5? What? Uh, anyway, that distracted me completely. VFR, direct to AYTI, accept route and fly. Shouldn't have to do anything with the fuel. Um, I don't know what I hmm. can I adjust my weight? Yes, I can. Cool. So this is going to be five. <laughs> Whoa, 500 pounds, and we are 
two pounds below maximum takeoff weight. Holy cow. Okay, well, that's good. Um, to be honest with you, considering the angle at which uh, this runway is pitched at, I think we're going to be able to take off no matter what happens, so not too worried about that at all. All right, let's get inside. Let's... Have I got to have the engine running? I think I do, don't I? Let's get... So we've got to fix this head tracking. Max 1 and 2 on. Avionics on. 12 volt. It's inoperable. Interesting. Okay. The master battery is on. And we appear to have... A running aircraft. Splendid. So, I don't think we need any flaps, but let's err on the side of caution. Let's just say that we'll put... So we've only got two notches of flaps anyway. I thought we had three in this, but we've only got two. Okay, fine. So we'll have one notch of flaps just because we're so heavy. And, uh, yeah, all right. Better tell air hauler that we're on the way. Welcome to your air hauler flight. Start up and taxi. Roger that. So, brakes on, handbrake off. Taxi and oh, look off. at that, we're just rolling. That's with brakes on. That's with my brakes fully on as well. It just, it's so steep, we just started rolling immediately. And like that, just like that, we're up. Wow. En route, fly this sector and land at your destination. It would be so cool if I can fly down the valley. Alright, how are we doing for speed? We are not fast. We are very heavy. And I think I need to go over that mountain, which I'm not sure we're going to be able to do straight away. Let's just... Uh... Oh no, that's wrong. Okay, that's a problem. I didn't update the uh, I didn't update the map. That's a big problem. Yeah, that's a that's a that's a that's a massive problem. Because I have no guidance whatsoever now. Chrysler. Alright. Oh wrong way. Flaps up. Let's get some speed and get over this mountain. When I've got some altitude, maybe I'll be able to um, maybe I'll be able to change my heading. I don't know. This is going to be tricky as heck. Avoid a mistake at a maker. I think this is about the steepest I can climb. And as you can see, there's a lot of mountain. Definitely cutting it fine here.
Okay, so I think we're heading that direction. I don't know Papua New Guinea well enough to identify one mountain from another yet. But uh, I'm pretty sure this is the direction we're going. I suppose technically all I need to do is identify where the airport is and then we're good. Pretty sure it's over there somewhere. We'll find it, don't worry guys, we'll find it. Not AYPY, is it? Or is it? Jenna Dono. Tapini, isn't it? Tapini. Oh, come on, trim, behave yourself. I'm going to use my phone, see if I can identify where it is. Yeah, this is going to be tricky. This is going to be tricky. Do I cut into the mountains now, or do I stay on the outside? I don't know, because I'm not sure where I'm going. List of airports in Papua New Guinea, that's what we need. The Pini, that's what I said, the Pini. I'm pretty sure I need to go over these mountains. Turn my head tracking off a minute.
So, okay, yeah. As suspected, we, we're basically in the middle of this mountain range. So, um, we are definitely going to want to be climbing over this mountain. And we're kind of we're kind of basically right in the middle of it. It's a really short flight, this, but the mountain definitely makes it harder. And that's what I love about Papua New Guinea: the challenge. And by the way, doesn't it look fantastic? As it does every week, every episode. Okay, it's going to be a bit tight. In fact, I don't think we've got enough climb. I'm going to have to bug out. We're only going to be a few hundred feet short, maybe even a hundred feet short, but we're not, we're not safely going to clear that. We'll come round, we'll keep climbing. 6,000 feet will definitely be enough. Remember, we're just two pounds, two pounds below our maximum takeoff weight. I'm a bit frustrated that I can't see the airport here. It's not popping up. Ah, here we go. AYTI. That's us. So it looks like there's a bit of a gap in the... Uh, in the mountain range right where we want it to be. So this this is what I mean about the, the more you fly Papua New Guinea, you'll start to know where these little channels are and then you can take advantage of them. This is still incredibly risky flying. This is, I'm pretty sure not something a real pilot would be doing flying this close to these trees, I don't know. I cannot wait to upgrade this aircraft. Just to open up those options a little bit more. Okay, I think we're pretty good. I'm going to get my trim right up. I want to climb as much as I can. It's going to be tricky. We're not climbing at all at the moment, that's not good.
take another little look at my map on my phone. I'm trying to find the, uh, the channel that we're going through right now. Oh, it's good fun this is. I am so liking Papua New Guinea right now. I don't think I could have picked a better location. We're not going to stay in Papua New Guinea indefinitely, by the way. We're going to spread our wings. The best way to do that, I think, is to just buy a new base in another country. But we still like to get a few people flying around in Papua New Guinea and uh, keeping the pennies rolling in. This is a fantastic place to start. It's really challenging, really engaging. It's beautiful, beautiful scenery. So many positives. Okay, so that's where we're heading. We know where we're going now, that's good. I'm going to leave my mouse pointing at that, I think. Except my mouse has disappeared. So what I've got to do is decide how I'm going to get over this mountain because that's quite a significant ridge. We're already very much at our maximum climb speed. So the lowest point appears to be that point there. So I, I have very little choice other than to head for that and hope that we've got enough clearance. Fortunately, we're in an area where, you know, if I need to do a loop, I think there's enough clearance to be able to do it just to gain that extra altitude. But I'd really like to do it in one hit, if I can. But we're fully laden, absolutely full to the eyebrows. So that is a big, big ask. And it's not looking promising.
stalling is not a good option. No, we're going to stall. Not going to happen. We're so close again. I don't know, I don't, it's, it really is right on the, the, the very edge of being able to do it, aren't we? It's so risky. Have I got space to turn? I have. Okay, we're going to go for it. And if necessary, I'm just going to turn into the valley there. Oh, man. This feels so close. That's one. There's another two to go when they're increasingly taller. And now, now we're in a position where we don't have anywhere to turn. So that could have been a very, very bad decision. Now that I've cleared the brow of that mountain, I really wish I'd just done a loop. Uh, we could be in trouble here. I suppose I could continue heading down this valley in the wrong direction, but gaining altitude. That's not, that's not the worst thing in the world. I was about to contemplate turning into there, but I mean, that's that's got death written all over it, hasn't it? I've made enough mistakes on this flight already, thank you. I think we could clear the trees there, maybe. We are climbing at about 300 feet per minute, quite steadily. Plenty of fuel, I think. Yeah, 12 and 13 gallons, we've got loads of fuel. Absolutely no problem whatsoever. Ideally, we want to take a left here. I think our airport is sort of that way. But we're just a little bit short of the altitude we need. Eight and a half thousand is good. Yeah, is it enough? Can you imagine, by the way, I just want to remind anyone who's watching this and doesn't already know, a couple of weeks from now when the confidence is higher, we're going to have real weather and um, that's just going to add so much complexity to an already very challenging experience. Although I am thinking of upgrading our aircraft. Hey look, it's Armageddon 747 again. Hello mate. If you, if you happen to be watching this Armageddon 747, please say hello in the chat. 
kept me company on this flight quite a lot. Okay, let's think about turning and clearing this. Just one mountain after another. Where did I leave my mouse? Right there. So we can actually stay right of this mountain and come round it. And I think we're going to do exactly that. Again, I think we've actually got enough altitude to clear it, but... Um, Let's take the slightly safer route and uh, just avoid it altogether. Come around the side. This is the last big mountain we have to deal with, so we should be good after this. I nearly dozed off for a second then, guys. So, according to my mouse, our airport is just over here somewhere. It's going to be hell on earth to find it. There she is over there, look. Crikey. Can you even contemplate people who used to fly in Papua New Guinea before GPS was invented? Astounding, absolutely astounding. All right, let's get ourselves trimmed out correctly. Bring the nose down now. We're basically ready to descend.
So I've got a pretty good idea of whereabouts uh, it is. Oh my god, look at the speed we're doing. Christ, I nearly ripped my own wings off then, I didn't even notice. Why were we descending so fast? Straight and level flight, if you don't mind. So somewhere off here to the left hand side and honestly there's nothing jumping out at me at the moment but we're going to reduce our altitude or start to anyway What we want to do is get down to about 3,000 feet. Well, the uh, Tapini, a Taipini, is at 3,000 something feet. So we need to be uh, closer to that than we currently are. But without knowing exactly where it is. Could be challenging. The airport's over there. Something's looking familiar. That little mound there, that little lip. Feels mighty familiar. And I wasn't speaking Mexican. Pretty sure that's it. It should be popping into view any second now. I think that's it. I can just see it. Yeah, I think we're home. At last. I gotta fly this all over again. <laughs> Woohoo!
okay. I'm just going to have to fully throttle off and glide in because that's such a difficult landing. In fact, I'm not even sure I've got the skill set to land from this angle. And I'm sure as heck not going to be able to land at that speed. Slow this puppy down. There she is, Taipini. So much easier to come in from the other side. That does add a lot of flying time. Let's see what we can do here. This is such a steep descent. I'm going to have to go round. I can't. I cannot possibly do it this way. But uh, you know, it's the first time I've landed here from anywhere else, so it didn't look uh, in any way familiar <laughs> at all. Trying to burn off a few, uh, bank angle, bank angle. few hundred feet. Not quite sure where I'm getting that alert. Try and slip it in a bit. Even that, I don't think is going to be enough. Bank angle, bank angle. so fast we're just going to do a, a go around but we're not even going to get it go around, we're just going to turn around, we're going to do a 180. Which is, um, I'm pretty sure, something you're not allowed to do at an airport. There's no tower here, so... And I, guess I can't see any other traffic, so... I think we're going to have to kick a not notch of flaps up here, otherwise we're not going to have enough speed and altitude to, uh, to get round. Yeah, we're looking pretty good now, I think. Landed. Taxi and park. Landing was smooth.
Alrighty, there we go guys. Successfully, successfully touched down. Flaps are up. Let's get this engine shut down. Alt tap back to air hauler to offload forward slash load cargo and fuel. Yes, you can indeed. now return to the MFS main menu. All right, so we'll come in here and we'll unload. Handling agent at AYTI accepted your cargo. Fantastic. Say, okay, thank you. How much fuel do we have on board? 143 pounds. I think we've got plenty. So, uh, yeah, that was the route we took. And to be honest with you, I don't think there's a better way of doing it. Maybe going around that way works. Could work, actually, couldn't it? Theoretically, that's a, definitely an easier landing coming in from... Uh, Coming in this way on runway two nine, I'm assuming thereabouts. Yeah, okay, well that was pretty good. Finish flight monitoring smooth on grass. Wasn't the end of the world, was it? And uh yeah, so I've got to fly <laughs> I've got to fly all the way back there. So I did speak to Jimmy uh before this flight. Uh well actually I didn't, I told I spoke to his son. And uh, Jimmy is asleep, bless him. So I said, don't wake him up. I got this one. And um, in the next episode, probably Jimmy's going to end up flying back this way. Maybe I'll fly out to a location and we'll meet up there or something. But um, yeah, that was a good flight. I really enjoyed that. Challenging, beautiful to look at, lots of fun. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Thank you for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one, okay? Take care.